Hello, and I'm Tina, and welcome to Late Shore Academy. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about another topic that will also help keep the homeschool thing flowing easy, meal prep, which another homeschool mom talked to me about meal prep. How do you keep it organized? Well, honey, I'm still working on it. Ideally, this is what I like to do. I like to take a Saturday, and I like to prep for the rest of the week. Like I go to Dollar Tree and get some of those um, aluminum trays and I like to cook my food and then put it in the um, freezer. And I like to prepare my breakfast and stuff, make breakfast sandwiches so we can just pull stuff out. That's what I like to do. But if you don't have that and you don't have the time to do something like that, one, another great thing I would say every homeschool mom needs to have in her home. If you can splurge on this, I encourage you to do this. And that would be having a pressure cooker, one of those electric pressure cookers, having you, uh, or a crock pot. Because what you can do is actually start cooking your food at night, like starting your food. Like if you have meat, you can put it on and you can cook it. Or you have, if you if you don't eat meat and you eat vegetables, you can have them slow cooking overnight. And when you get up, they're already ready. Or when you get up in the morning, you can start put whatever you want to put in your crock pot, turn it on. And about time it's dinner time, your food is ready. Another homeschool mom shared that with me and i tell you it is the best thing ever and then you actually smelling the food throughout the day and you're and you're able to teach your kids without having to stop and get frustrated and say oh i got to cook what i'm going to try to cook and all this stuff like that if you have a crock pot that'll make your life a whole lot easier as well now one thing i don't want you guys to do due to a lack of time and planning is grabbing a whole lot of pre-packaged or um food that's not good for you because that's not going to help the situation. So if you can make it an activity for you and your family, I actually have my son plan some of our meals. So I have him going to our cupboards, our cabinet, um, going to our deep freezer, our refrigerator and see what we have. And then we try to make meals centered around what we already have. So he goes out and he says, okay, we have this, that, this, and that. And then we think about different meals in which we can cook with those items that we have in our home. So, um, that's a good thing. And that's a real good life skill activity that you can do with your kids as well. Make it a family thing, a family event. Everybody go in the kitchen and help do something, even if it's nothing but chopping up vegetables or fruit or different things for smoothies or whatever you do. It is so good because you want to stay healthy as well. You just don't want to go to the restaurant and start eating a lot of unhealthy stuff, which in the long run could be bad for you. So at any rate, meal prep is very important. Meal prep do help de-stress the cooking situation. Um, you just have to figure out what's best for you and your family. Everyone is not a meal prep type of person, but figure out something that works for you that keep your family healthy and keep you sane at the same time. So this is Tina from Lecture Academy. Give you another free idea. Have a great day. Bye.